Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha, and today's Tuesday, so on Tuesdays we do top 10 of our favorite scent notes. And this one was harder for me to do, but I still really enjoy it. Um, this is my so fresh, so clean scent category of lavender scents, and I honestly didn't think that I had 10 lavender scents, but when I started to pull products that I thought had lavender or that reminded me of lavender, I was actually pleasantly surprised. So I only don't have one on me because I used it up last year. So I'm just going to talk about it briefly, but we're just going to jump right in. And as always, please leave down below any scents that I miss that you love, because I love hearing that from you all that I learn a lot down in the comments. So if I miss one, let me know down below, but let's just jump in. So this one is kind of not controversial, but it's a hit or miss with people in liking it. But for my number 10, I picked Cozy Cashmere. Now I like this candle in a very specific setting in a very specific way, but I do agree with some of the reviewers that say there's just something weird about this candle. And that's why I burn it in the very specific way that I do. So this is from the city collection that came out for candle day, but I actually am still working on my white barn one because again, I use this on self care Sunday. I light it in my room. I do my routines mostly in my room. It's a very small and close space and I only keep it burning for like an hour. So if there's but like candle burn issues or anything, that's on me because I don't burn it very long. But the scent that it puts off in that amount of time is enough for me. And again, if it ever just goes wonky, I'll just throw it on a warmer. So far, so good. So what are the notes? Smooth lavender, warm vanilla, comforting sandalwood. And I like that blend. I like it a lot. However, the sandalwood and the lavender battle with each other in this candle. So they're both trying to be top dog. And so I feel like as you burn this, those two notes just keep like escalating to a point where when you start it, you're like, hmm, that's, that's cool. And then you can get to a point if you burn it for too long where you're like, no good, no good at all. So we like this candle, but it is in our 10th spot. And I, again, I just use it for an hour here and there on a Sunday for self care Sunday, because it is a very relaxing scent with the vanilla and the sandalwood relaxing scents. Lavender is very relaxing. So I use it for that purpose, but it's taking me forever to get through that candle because I don't burn it for very long. Okay. The next one is the one that I don't have and I put it higher up, even though I really, really adored this. And I'll just post a picture of it here. It was a lavender coconut single wick that I picked up last year because it had like super cute packaging. And I thought, oh, I like lavender, I like coconut. Okay. And I burnt straight through that candle and it was a very smooth coconut with a lavender. Neither one were too loud. It was a very decent throw for a single wick, but I really enjoyed that one. Now with all the new body care and things coming out, I don't know if they'll replace it or bring it out again, but it is a, a single wick I recommend because it did throw like our three wicks do. So when we're looking for throw on a single wick, some of us get really leery to buy because we're like, mm, is it going to throw? And I'm like, I don't know, girl, I don't know if it's going to throw, but that one really did throw. So I really enjoyed the lavender coconut single wick. Okay, this I do have, and I have been using. This is white t-shirt. Um, the I actually have a single wick too, but I just grabbed the body care because I've used this about two times, three times maybe. This has notes of crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. And this is why I really like lavender. I feel like lavender can make a scent relaxing and smooth, and um, I also can make it like clean laundry and fresh. And it's just so interesting. It just depends on what it's combined with. This is a very fresh take on lavender, whereas the other scent was very relaxing lavender. So they are different. I mean, totally different. I wouldn't say this is any fresh and any stretch of the imagination. And I wouldn't say this is relaxing. This scent is um, really nice. I feel like Simply Shaughnessy described it the best. She said it's a mix of beachfront blanket with um, Magnolia Charm. And I think what it does that I like about it is it combines the best of those two. So in um, Magnolia Charm, I really like the pear mixed with the cedar wood. It makes it very interesting to me. I wasn't sure if I'd like that because I was like, ooh, that's going to be heavy floral, but it really wasn't. And then beachfront blanket is just your fresh linen in the sun very fresh and this is both this has a little sweetness with a little bit of that like i think it's sandalwood right yeah sandalwood not cedar wood so it is different but it's like same thing and then you get that freshness so it's so fresh and clean like i said i feel like it's a great base for a lot of different things you can layer um it works really well on its own and i think i'm really gonna like this for spring but 
as I'm working through my Project Use It Up and doing the Fresh Blend videos, I've only given this about two tries. So I will come back and talk about these in a little bit, just giving myself a little bit more time to try them and not just kind of repeat what everybody else is saying. Cause so far I'm just like, oh yeah, I agree. I agree with what everyone else is saying. That might all be all I get to is just agreeing with what everyone else says, but I do like to try things for a little while. I just reviewed the Champagne Brunch Collection and that was like old news, but that's probably what you're gonna get here because I like to talk about things and try to come up with my own ideas, but it takes me a minute. So I really do like that one. This one has grown on me quite a bit since winter. This is, or well, it was right around Sass. So it was kind of the end of December that we got this scent. Cozy Sunday Morning. Now, I will be honest, of the three scents that came out in this collection, Whipped Rose Latte and Vanilla Mocha Cafe or something to that nature, I like this one third, then I like the Vanilla Mocha Cafe, and I love Whipped Rose Latte. I talk about it all the time. This has notes of fresh lavender, creamy vanilla, and soft sandalwood. And this one is kind of combining the lavender in a fresh laundry way, there, but with the sandalwood, um, and I feel like they're mixed together so often because again that's kind of the same notes that's in cozy cashmere this is creamy vanilla this says um warm vanilla but kind of the same thing there um and so i really do feel like this is more of a relaxing scent so i like just to wear this a couple of times um i don't have the body cream in this or anything i just picked these up um with a reward but it is a nice night scent especially if you're not going to do like a full routine like sometimes I'm just using up a project use it up lotion and I can just miss this a couple times on my pillow or on my night wear and I feel like that's enough I don't go heavy at bedtime with anything I rarely wear perfume to bed um I just like something fresh and clean especially if I shower at night because again I curl my hair sometimes in the morning so I shower at night and braid it and this really works for that so this is kind of bordering on fresh lavender as well as relaxing lavender but I think it's the mix of the notes kind of gives me more of that cozy cashmere feel than it does like white t-shirt so I like it but I don't I mean this is not even one that I recommend unless you like those kind of scents I will take me forever to get through this because I do usually pick something sweet and like vanilla scented for bed but that is a really nice one for that time as well okay this is a favorite candle and you can't get it anymore so i am being sparing with this i've only burnt it a couple times this is another candle that i use in my self-care sunday i think i use this in my video to kind of demonstrate lavender bergamot this has notes of bright lavender bold bergamot zest and warm tonka bean i love the tonka in here it really warms it up and the bergamot makes it fresh and the lavender makes it relaxing so i can burn this one far longer than i can tolerate cozy cashmere but both of them give me that same vibe of just like relaxing clean fresh like it doesn't make me think of what more what housework could I be doing right now I just want to like sit read a book chill listen to a podcast and I love that for this so this is just a very relaxing beautiful candle but this was on the shelf and then it wasn't and so I just have been like I said kind of just using it sparingly because I don't I want to have it and I can't get it back up so I love this one, but I can't even recommend it because I right now you can't get it, but we know how Beth Meyer says they'll bring it back at some point. Okay, so this is a candle that I picked up on Macari because of our friend Joanne on the cloud. She was talking about this candle and I remembered it from back in the day. This is 2016. I found this in a bundle. Well, I was on someone's page and they bundled it with me with a few Victoria's Secret fragrances I was kind of interested in, and I got a really reasonable price price. I think I paid for three body sprays, a perfume, and this candle like $50. So that's not bad. And again, I use my balance from selling things. So it's kind of free to me, but you know what I mean. So what is it? It's Paris Lavender Macaron. And this, when we were starting to talk about Peach Prosecco Macaron, I know she had done a video talking about this candle and I just went hunting for it because I, it's a candle I had back in the day, but I wasn't collecting like I do now. So I would get one or two, burn them, enjoy them, move on. That's how I burnt candles back in like 2015, 2016, 2017. And then like 2018, I started really growing my collection so that when I moved with 200 candles, you guys know the rest of that story. So what is this one? What's so special? This has a little of description. They used to do like little, like a little kind of like scent memory or they didn't just do basic notes so it's a truly french treat that combines the fragrance of lavender blossoms with a delicate patisserie cookie so and you get that i really do get a lavender floral blossom essence like it's it's in there with 
a very light cookie scent and it's so beautiful and it just I've never been to Paris so I can't say but I'm like this is what it would smell like to go into a bakery in Paris because I'm sure they have flowers on the table and things like that so I just wanted this again for a memory purposes and I just it's in such good condition I love that um so I'm not gonna burn this but it is nice to have for scent memory Okay, we're moving right through. I, I mean, a lot of this is going to be candles because I do have a lot more lavender relaxing candle scents. I could have mixed it up with some wall plugs and stuff or soaps, but I pretty much just do body care and candles with this video. So the next one we are at number four is lavender vanilla. And I like her for just being what she is. She's basic. She is lavender vanilla, but in the smoothest way, it's so pretty. Lavender blossom, creamy vanilla, white woods, and sugared musk. And I don't, I mean, so I feel like the White Woods gives it like a, almost like a soapy scent, really kind of like crisp, almost eucalyptus-like. That could be the soft musk too. But when you burn this, you really just get a straightforward vanilla and lavender equal parts. And it's really pretty. Um, this was in the ombre style that came out, but this was usually, I think it's been included quite often in the white burn packaging and a couple of collections, but I only have it in this style. So I've tried one for a current burn review and I haven't finished it because I'm burning through so many candles, but um, that is what I really like about that one, that it's just straightforward. It's just, it is what the name is, you know? Sometimes we're like hunting for a, a scent note that's not listed and I still think it's in there. I think that sometimes they just include the scent notes they think are gonna be popular, but they of course add a little bit more because sometimes I'm like, why does this one have orange or, you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't seem, I, I pulled a couple candles I thought had lavender and they didn't in the notes. So I thought, mm, I'll just be safe and not include them because I end up having way more products than I needed. So the next one is one of my favorite candles and I got this one on recommendation from the Santa Maria. She talked about this candle and how it was a powerhouse and made your house smell so clean. And it really is just, it's everything. So this is in this cute little like winter, like sweater packaging, but I've had this candle in white burn packaging. I've had Harvest Linen is a really fun take on it and adds a little like note to make you think of like being outside. It's not a fresh air note, but something like that. But this has notes of fresh air, crisp eucalyptus and soft lavender. And the lavender's, lavender really pulls it into being like a laundry scent. It just smells like fancy fabric softener. The eucalyptus is pushing it to be the powerhouse. When you're burning this, this is a powerhouse of freshness, but the lavender just kind of like, I really think it hones into keeping it like a fancy sweater or a fancy, fancier laundry detergent than just your, you know, downy and tied and things. But it's, it's so fresh. I love burning this candle when I'm doing a deep clean, like if I'm doing like baseboards and floors and I got everyone involved and everyone's annoyed with me for having to clean all night. We burn this because I'm like, see, it smells so clean in here. Well, this candle is doing 90 and we're doing the 10, but still a very good candle. Okay, two products left and then a runner up because I have a cheater. Um, we have to talk about her. This was the first product that made it into the bucket. And then the next one is the second product that made in this bucket. This is Lavender Marshmallow. I remember my first candle was the one with the cute little marshmallows that had the colored bottoms and I bought it for packaging because I didn't know if I even liked the scent in store because on cold I remember I was like mm, it's mm. and then the packaging got me and I was like that's gonna be so cute sitting on my shelf so got one loved it got another one loved it got a third one it got broken our move but this finally came back out and I think I missed this set in 2019 or 2020 they had brought it out again in another collection I didn't get that one um, but this is what I call the Willy Wonka collection, but a lot of people call it like haunted wallpaper or the soda shop. But yeah, so this is part of the champagne brunch. I think the packaging's really cute. And the Willy Wonka part for me is the lettering. But, um, yeah, I just like to name things myself because I can't remember what their names actually are. And that's why I can't do the history of candles. I can have candles that I've tried before and other people talk about them. And I'm like, oh yeah, like that's how I remember stuff. I'm, oh yeah, girl. And I'm, huh? Like, I'm always asking, what'd you say? Huh? Huh? So the notes on lavender marshmallow. Fluffy marshmallow, touch of lavender, fresh vanilla bean. This is delicious. I mean, I have never eaten a lavender marshmallow, but I really love this candle. I could see myself, like, trying to find these fancy marshmallows somewhere. But I don't think they actually exist. Um, Maybe in, like, a fancy bakery. But 
I really like the way the marshmallow, it's kind of like in a similar vein as lavender vanilla, but this is more of a sweet, sticky marshmallow scent over that creamy vanilla. So there is a huge difference to me, but I mean, it's going to give you that same thing. Super smooth and super pretty. Lavender in this one is pretty. It makes it pretty. And I really, really love it. Okay. So my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite item. I think, were these all Bath and Body Works? Whoops. These are all Bath and Body Works this time. I don't try to nod or do it, but I just kind of start to think about what scents I think have it in there. And then I move on to scents that I need to make a 10. So every once in a while I'm looking through and I'm reading the backs going, oh yeah, you have lavender in it. I like you or I don't like you. And I, I've shared that I don't like some products too, but um, that's kind of how I do the ranking system. So my favorite product, and this has been in favorites before, is Fireside Flurries. This is Toasted Marshmallow, Pink Lavender, and Cashmere Woods. And I love everything about this fragrance. I wore the heck out of this thing this winter. I have been, whoop, I have been wearing other things. So not as much have I been wearing this, but um, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy this as a layer, and I really enjoy, um, I don't know, I just, I'm going to wear it today. I haven't picked my scent of the day. I'm going to wear this today. Yeah, I love the marshmallow. I love how the cashmere comes through as like a fancy sweater. I always say that about cashmere. And then um, you do get the lavender. And the cap is way over there, so we're not going to pick that up. So that is my list. Like I said, I love the way that smells. And let me know down below if I missed any. And I do have a runner-up, but I don't actually have it anymore. But I had lavender sea this candle right here and it is soft lavender ways vanilla sea foam and coconut water and when i smelled it on cold i liked it and i also thought it had some off-putting like litter box situation going on so i brought it home and i set it on the shelf with the collection it was in a collection with coconut sandalwood and endless weekend and like ocean with salt water something something and pineapple mango it was in a cute little purple set and I kept picking that one up to try and every time I'd smell it on cold I was like I don't like it I ended up returning it because I just was like I'm not even going to start burning this candle this is probably too sophisticated for me because I think that's what it was it was just too elevated um I was I wanted it to like be chopped in half and be more basic because there was something beautiful about it and something stink nasty about it. So um, that is my list and my runner up. My runner up this time wasn't a good one. It was a bad one. Um, but I would love to know your thoughts down below. And I'm going to keep this short and just say I will see you in a video probably tomorrow. Thank you guys. Bye.